moral of the story, always listen to your wife. It's our first full day in Argentina. It's Sunday morning, pretty quiet morning. Um, so we're on our way to church. And then after church, we are going to try to get tickets to tonight's Boca Juniors game, which is bucket list thing for me. Uh, I gotta try to make it happen. So uh, hopefully we can make it happen. When I told a lot of people that I was coming to Argentina and we we're going to Brazil, a lot of what we got was like, oh, watch your wallet, watch this, be careful of that. When we let those stereotypes affect our perspective of a place we've never been to before, we're allowing the divide between us and other people, whoever they are, to be wider, to grow. And the whole point of travel is to close that divide and close that gap and realize that we're all pretty much the same. made it to uh, the Boca neighborhood. We may have a lead on some tickets, but uh, it's unconfirmed. So we're still gonna chase some, our own way down to get some tickets. We're just walking through the Boca neighborhood. So you can see La Bombonera right behind us. That's where the game is played. You need to have a membership to have to even buy tickets to Boca Juniors game officially. So any other way to get tickets is through some sort of back channel, some third party vendor and or some like agency that buys tickets from or members. Or a guy who walks up to you on the street, right? So we've met some people who are gonna try to pull some strings for us. Still haven't heard back from them. Um, in the meantime, we're trying to get tickets through this back channel street. Horacio. This back channel street guy named Horacio. Um, can I trust a guy who just approached me on the street for tickets? I don't know. Back at the Airbnb, still don't have tickets, have a verbal agreement with grimy street dweller ticket sales guy, but we gotta make a decision soon. What I don't want is to end up watching the game on TV and that feeling of, I should have gone. FOMO. FOMO. Thoughts? It's just like unfortunate how it's playing out. Like, well, it's just annoying that like you can just buy the tickets. When you have people like us who are just here for a few days and literally just want to get tickets, it really, there's no like legitimate market place to purchase these tickets, which creates like a very like shady secondary market where we have to rely on a guy on the street and trust his word. So our ticket contact is no longer answering my calls, which is not a good sign, especially since I called him just before we left and he said we were still good. We might not get in, but you can still get a sense of the scale of this thing. So it's about a three block radius anywhere around the stadium that's just blocked off to all traffic they have like a security checkpoint over here police presence is everywhere and this is like a regular season game against some piece of crap team that nobody's really ever heard of fortunately it doesn't look like we're gonna get to go inside 
We were burned by uh, this guy. At least we didn't we didn't give him any money, so that's that's a plus. I was hoping I could maybe still find another person who was uh, who was selling. essentially just standing sadly by the entrance when another guy says like do you guys have tickets we're like no do you want tickets we followed him it still felt pretty sketchy um, it's a bit of a Hail Mary it could still be a, uh, a scam I'm really hoping not so it's $60 that would be out if these tickets don't work so uh, let's go see if this guy was legit We got scammed. I wanted something really bad and I was willing to take a risk. I knew it was probably... I say I knew. Like, I knew it was risky. But, uh, moral of the story, always listen to your wife. <laughs> um, yeah, that really sucked. Still thinking about uh, how we got scammed yesterday, but I think I'm I'm over it. It is what it is. After I went a whole rant about trusting people and doing the right thing, and we got scammed. But I I take full responsibility. I ignored the warning signs because I was willing to take a risk to get into that game.